Dear followers, welcome to this review dedicated to DigiArity's VideoProc Vlogger, the best video editing software for Windows and Mac OS, completely free to use. This is truly impressive, with tools and effects compatible with the highest video standards up to 4K resolution, making it the best tool for influencers, bloggers, and online educators. As you install VideoProc, an auto-analysis starts to get all your CPU and GPU information and maximize video processing, encoding, and decoding profiles in a few minutes. At this point, you can go ahead with your first project by giving a proper name, destination folder, video resolution, and frame rate. You can also open an existing project above. VideoProc has a very easy user interface, enhancing experience for both beginners and experts that want to create a video in a short time. You can import videos, images, and sound files by clicking on the plus button on the left or simply dragging and dropping media on VideoProc. VideoProc accepts loads of formats including HEVC, H.264, OGG, FLAC, MP3, AAC, PNG, GIF, and much more. All these files are collected under the Media Library, where you can drag and add them on the timeline at the bottom as clips. Whereas you can click on Record to start recording with your microphone. The timeline is as much intuitive as professional, made with video and audio tracks whose content can be muted or hidden with the proper icons at the bottom. The track's order also sets their visibility. All clips placed on the overlay track are shown in front of all the main clips inside the main video track. The video preview above shows the project in progress where the red playhead is placed. VideoProc ensures empowered previews up to 4K resolution thanks to its advanced hardware acceleration. Just like professional and paid video editors, VideoProc Vlogger allows you to get full control on these clips. You can drag any to move, drag from the edges to adjust its duration, and use several tools on top to make advanced editing. For example, click on Split to split selected clips. Switch to Time Stretch to adjust the speed rate constantly by dragging from the edges. Use Crop to set the clip aspect ratio and Extractor to extract audio from video and audio tracks. You can also click on Speed to open the Speed Editor. In respect with other editors like Shotcut and Lightworks, this allows you to customize the clip speed as you like most. On top, pick any ready template, for example, Constant to apply a constant speed at a normal rate, and halved rate, or a doubled rate. You can also choose more complex waveforms, such as notches, linear ramp, and much more. Once the waveform is set, you can use the timeline to customize it as you like most. Each envelope point represents a keyframe, saving a specific speed level that you can see from the left and a clip frame moment you can check from above. This way, the combination of these keyframes generates an envelope and a variable playback speed on the clip. You can click and drag any keyframe to adjust its level and move it in time by moving its marker, whereas use the tangent handles to refine the envelope curve. On the left, set whether to change the audio pitch or not and click on Apply to come back to the main timeline. Whereas, click on Motion to open the Motion Editor, another advanced tool to apply custom pan, crop, and zoom effects. On top, select between several motion templates, including the classic zoom in-out, a linear horizontal or vertical motion path, or more complex effects. Above these, you have two video previews. On the left, 
The original clip with an orange border representing what is being shown on the final clip on the right side. These presets are applied through blue markers that work like keyframes as seen for the speed editor, saving the properties of the orange rectangle in a defined instant of time. You can select any marker to edit the rectangle and change the final effect on the clip. You can click and drag it to move, drag from outside to rotate it, and use its nodes to resize it. This means that you zoom in out if you saved its aspect ratio with the control key down and crop the clip if you resize the rectangle freely. Make sure to open the list view to refine all the keyframe properties just applied. You can also correct loads of visual and audio properties from the panel on the right. VideoProc Blogger collects everything you need to edit these clips, including options and features normally included within paid software. When selecting visual clips, you can trim and set duration, adjust opacity level, and even apply some color correction and 3D LUT color grading, refining brightness, contrast, shadows, and blacks. You can even go to HSL to set color intensity and luminance for each color range and to vignetting to apply outstanding vignetting effects. With fade and move, you can add fade in and outs to introduce the clip or make it disappear. Whereas, use transform to rotate the clip, scale it, adjust its placement, and also flip it if you need. VideoProc also includes outstanding correction tools such as image denoise, chroma key to change the background on flat colored screens, or composing to set the right blending mode. On audio clips, adjust volume, add fade transitions, put audio in reverse, and even edit its waveform in detail with the integrated audio editor. You can also deal with speech by changing its speech. On the left, you get several templates to enhance your videos. Under Transitions, you can browse for several visual transitions you can drag and drop on main video clips. With Titles, you can add great text templates to show text on a black, flat background, or subtitles and titles to place these on a dedicated subtitle track in order to place text in front of the rest of your video content. Each piece of text is an independent text clip that can be customized on the right. In particular, you can click on Edit Text to modify text on a dedicated interface, selecting the proper line and adjusting its text font, style, and size, content, and placement. Set text color, apply any gradient, add any border and shadow effect. You can also adjust the animation duration as you like. On the left, open Animation to change the proper animation to apply for each selected line. From the Effects section, you can drag and drop visual effects to apply above all visual clips on a dedicated effect track. Make sure to adjust the effect properties from the right side. When your video is ready, click on Export on the right. Set file name, where to save it, and its format, including MP4 and Audio MP3. On the right, set Quality, Video Codec, including AVC and HEVC, Frame rate up to 100 frames per second, bit rate, and complete audio codec options and sample rate. VideoProc ensures the maximum quality and speed over your video rendering due to its impressive hardware acceleration. This is all you can do with VideoProc Blogger. Make sure to check our video description to learn more about this outstanding editor and do not forget to give it a try.